I'm Richard Francis, CEO of Spotlight Reporting here at ZeroCon Brisbane 18. And I'm here with Andrew McDonnell, who is the Advisory Associate Director at BDO Brisbane. Good, good Kiwi lad. Uh, BDO are doing some great work in advisory over here. Tell us what you do uh, as part of the uh, empire. Yeah, so really I guess if you think of uh, business services as a giant pinball machine, I'm the ball that bounces around all the different partners, helping them help, helping them get stuff done basically. So anything anything that's outside of a tax return or a compliance, I'm keen. Um, and I just you know, walk through the issue with them, get in front of the client and, um, and get on with it. Basically. So you're the get shit done guy? Get shit yeah. done is a good way to put it, absolutely. How are, you, how are you finding the change of coming from NZ and doing the same thing there to yeah. Australia? It's not that much of a change. Uh, probably the businesses are a little bit larger, so there's a, li a little bit more going on. There's a lot more staff, a lot more opportunity, but a lot yeah. more people to take along for the ride as well, which is um, which is fun. But um, I think I think look, businesses get it. They, they they genuinely get the need, just as just as they do in New Zealand, and they want to get on with it, and they want to want to take a first step forward. You know, yeah. um, and that's and, and that's a great thing to be able to provide. Nice. Yeah. So BDO is obviously making a bit of a splash in the zero uh, world. Always you know nominated yeah. and won awards and things yeah. in the past. What would you say to uh, an advisory accounting firm here at ZeroCon? What's the app stack? You know, what's the approach you need to take? What are the what are the partners you need to to flourish? To do well, I mean, clouds. You know, make sense. I don't think that's up for debate anymore. You know, if you know if you're not in the, if you're not in the cloud, you're um, you're many years behind. But I think I, I think the most important thing is just finding a way to actually get out of the office and get in front of your client with something, anything. Start the conversation. Starting the conversation is what it's all about. You will find the solution from there, and you've really just got to be able to take that first step back yourself. Yeah. And you'd be comfortable with not having all the predetermined answers. It's not actually about that. It's just, it's just start the conversation, get some feedback. You know, whether it's a spotlight report, whether it's something you've built yourself, whether um, doesn't matter. Even if it's just something straight, straight up zero, get in front of them, have a chat, and then and, and see where it goes. But have the have the guts to do that, and, and and be confident enough to know that you're bringing enough value to the table. That client doesn't actually have in house. They believe it or not, they don't all have CAs in, in the house, right? So you do that, and you're away. So you made a really important point there that resonates with me about humans doing advisory. That software is kind of a means to an end. How do you find, given the, I suppose sometimes the cliche view of what accountants are, how do you find your ability to get partners and managers and staff out doing what you said they've got to do, interacting? Yeah, they need they they need a lead. They need someone to take to take the first step. Um, there's a lot of excuses. I think uh, is what I put it into that camp around perfection, around having things sorted, around having you know the right number of comparatives and the right colour and the right this, the right that. And it's um, you know you can spend as long as you want doing that, but the client's still got a problem that they need to fix, and they're going to have another problem again next month. So we either get on with it and start doing, or we sort of sit back, perfect yeah. it, and then and then hopefully one day we um, you know we, we we see that magic report or whatever it's supposed to look like. I still don't know. Um, I just know that you know you get in front of a client, you get on with it, and you get their feedback, and you actually work along together, and you get the right outcome. Nice. Yeah. So we've got new red T-shirts. We've yeah. got BDO Drive. I know. What's going to be new from BDO in the next 12 months? New from BDO in the next 12 months. Um, look, I think we're going to continue in terms of you know developing our management reporting. We've got some cool tools that we can play around with forecasts, all of that sort of stuff, and it's great. That'll just it's still just getting more and more of our clients onto the field of play. You know, so so really, I think I, I think we're going to continue down that um, down that line for a bit, but we just need to get more staff upskilled. So I mean, one of the big challenges for us, yeah, technical tax training every month. You know, why don't we have some advisory training as well to, 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 to you know go along with that? But also we can maybe help with that. Yeah, monthly advisory training. absolutely, absolutely. But I think I think the other thing as well is just continuing to hire. And, and, and bring resource on in a really broad sense. So, I mean, you know, we recently appointed a director of startups. He's not an accountant. Oh, okay. It's fantastic. Nice. You know, so, um, you know, we get, we, we're getting along great, and that's opened up a whole lot of opportunities. Believe it or not, we couldn't get there ourselves because we can't do it all. So we actually need to bring in this wider pool of expertise to really, to really make, make the whole thing hum. So I think, I think that's a good start. It's got some excellent feedback so far. So look yeah. for more of that. Well, I love how you're investing in people and software and, and the processes and, and, and the mojo you kind of need to have to really take on the mid, the mid um, market and, yeah. and the SMBs. So yeah. I think it's going to be an exciting year. We're seeing good stuff out of BDO Australia and New Zealand. So yeah. um, well done, mate, on crossing the ditch and doing such good work.